So, I don't know Python that well. I did a small course about it in school, but that was a while ago. So, I wanted to refresh my memory for the basics, and to match the theme of this channel, I decided to make a small game in Python. To get started, I thought that this game would be a card game. And probably the easiest card game to code is higher or lower. You draw a card from the deck and you need to guess if the next card is higher or lower than the first card. So here is a list of all the things we need to make for this game. The card deck, shuffling the deck, drawing cards, and guessing higher or lower. For this project I use Visual Studio Code. There I can write and run my code. I know there are some Python programs that are made for making games, but Visual Studio Code was enough for this project. So let's start by making the card deck. Here we make one card for every suite and every rank, and add that to a list. These weird code names here are the different suits, and when it's printed it looks like this. Here we have the function for shuffling the deck. This and the code from the deck is from the channel's painless programming video, creating a deck of cards in Python. I'll have a link for the video in the description. But in short we have two cards from the list. One of the cards is randomly selected, then these cards are swapped and the code starts again. This is better explained in the video, so I suggest you watch that. Next I started to work on the main function. Here I print a welcome message and ask the user to write start game to continue. We can check if the user has written start game by saving the text that the user has written into a string and then comparing that string to what we want to be written. But what happens if the user makes a typo or writes something else? Well, the program just stops because it can't move on. This isn't that difficult to fix with a while loop. But this code will have couple parts where typos aren't accounted for. So if you want to replicate something from this video, remember that fixing this will make the code more user friendly. Then we shuffle the deck and assign card 1 and card 2 by taking the first cards from the list. This is where we ask the user to guess higher or lower. It works the same way as the start game that we just covered. Now we have these four if statements. These if statements are the end result. So if the user wrote that card 2 was higher than card 1 and card 2 was higher than card 1, we would print you got it. And as I would later on realize, this is not the right way to compare the cards. Right now we are comparing the cards by suit and rank. But we don't want the suit to matter at all. I decided to use AI to write me some code that would remove the suit. I used AI because as I said, Python is still pretty new to me. Now when we can remove the suit from the card, we can assign values to the cards and compare them here. Okay, this card game is already in a pretty good shape, but we still need to make the main function loop. And also, this game would be pretty boring without there being anything on the line for answering right or wrong. How do we fix this? By adding gambling. <coughs> of course, we don't use actual money, so we just create an int called credits. The idea is that before the card has been drawn, you can bet the amount of credits you want. When your answer is right, this bet will be doubled and added to your total credits. And if you answer wrong, you lose the credits that you bet. For placing the bet, we need to ask the user how much they want to bet. Here we do need to check if the bet is more than the user has credits or if the bet is less than zero. 
If so, we just loop it until the user puts a suitable amount on the bet. Now we are going to add few lines of code for answering correctly. We print how many credits did the user win and we add this amount to the credits. Alright, the bet system is done now. We still need to loop the main function. So how do we do that? Well, there are of course multiple ways of doing this, but I did it by using a while loop that checks if the guest ring is higher or lower. I set the guest ring as higher here, so the while loop can actually start. We also need to add two if statements that will break this loop. One for running out of credits and one for having less than two cards in the deck. So here I have all of the code that I have made for this game. Um, there's almost 100 lines of code, so it's really small, this project, and there's a lot that could be improved on. So if any of you guys want to improve something on this, go ahead. <laughs> Okay, now I'm actually going to play the game. So, I'm going to my projects. And over here, I have a Python file. And there we go, we can start playing it. So, welcome to higher or lower. Let's start game to begin. So, start game. Uh, game started. So we have 100 credits at the start and then it asks uh, how much we want to bet. Let's bet 50. So there we go and the card is 5 so hmm, I think we are going to go with higher. Uh, we got it, it was a J. So here it doubled the 50 that we bet, so we won 100. And if we would have lost, we wouldn't have gotten anything. So let's bet 100 now. So it's a 5 again. Uh, so let's go with higher again. And we got it, it was a king. So it actually has been a really long time <laughs> since I have made a video. Uh, has it been like 6 months or something? I don't even know. But right now I'm trying to make more videos, like more often. Uh, I have been working on Mistakes Were Made, which is my main project at the moment. So, uh, that's it for this video, I hope you have enjoyed, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time, bye bye!